right, man. Apparently, a lot of people giving Bo Mac credit for Chris Eubanks Jr. victory over uh my damn mouse feel funny over uh um Liam Smith and uh, you know in the second fight they fought yesterday it was only fight that came on you know usually Labor Day weekend in America they don't they don't do no fights um but you know like I said before I ain't put much stock into uh Bo Mac coaching them um they did four weeks you know he was oh he looked a lot better and people said the first fight he was weight drained dude in that first fight he got knocked out with a fucking elbow why do people act like he didn't get knocked out with an elbow that's exactly what happened he was gonna beat liam smith in that first fight he a better fighter than leo smith leo smith hit him with illegal blow so you know when people talk about well i'm gonna go out there and i'm gonna file a petition against uh i'm gonna file a petition against uh you know for like wrongful knockout or bad scoring it'll never get overturned it was kind of like when the nfl you know or the nba was doing that was the nfl nba was doing that review if the, and they would never overturn no matter how bad the review showed it what the call was and they just rarely overturned it then what's the point of having it this man knocked him out with an elbow and everybody act like he didn't knock him out with an elbow i don't know if it was because he didn't like you know, the people don't like you bank or whatever, but he Liam Smith literally in the first fight knocked him out with an elbow. I mean, he used some straight punt more straight punches. Um, you know, Roy Jones could have implemented the same thing with him. And, and I'm not hating on Bo Mac. I'm just saying, dude, Liam Smith wasn't well, it shouldn't have beat him in the first fight. It was illegal blow. So everybody acting like he was far fetched that he was gonna win the read that he was gonna lose the rematch, dude. That, that loss need to be overturned, dude. And people act like they ain't see it. Then they hit with an elbow. That was an illegal punch. And we got people talking about what Crawford hit. Uh, well, Crawford hit, you know, Spence with illegal blows in the back of the head. Dude, that's an illegal punch. You know? And to me, you know, Eubanks was still aggressive. He was a little bit more, you know, less aggressive. But he was what he was. He used some straight punches. He just don't know how to pace himself, bro. He don't know how to harness his speed and his power. Everything is wild. Everything is aggressive. Everything is he overcommitting. He get in there with the right guy, he literally going to get knocked out. That's exactly what it is. He literally going to get knocked out if he get in there with the right guy. And he was just too strong, too athletic for Liam Smith. You understand Liam Smith was at 154 pounds. Eubanks been as high as 168. So, and Chris Eubanks more athletic. So, you know, you can see Bo Mack kind of, you know, got him to be a little bit more patient. But I didn't see much, too much difference, to be honest. This is what I expected in the first fight, minus the illegal punch. You know, he used a little bit more jabs. You still see the Roy Jones influence in there. You know, he was just too fast, too powerful, too, too much volatility for Liam Smith. And that's just what it boiled down to. That's just what it boiled down to. So, um, but yeah, that's just what it boiled down to, in my opinion. For real. You know, overwhelming with punches and hooks, uppercuts. You know, I, I, I mean, I think at 30, I think 33, I think it's too much to ask him to, to learn how to harness his speed and his aggression. I guess that's what make him the fighter he is. But I would tell him do everything off the jab. I would try to get him to do almost everything off the jab. You know, be patient. How to pick your shots. And it just seemed like he can't do that. If he did that, his defense would be a lot better. He had better he'd be a, a better fighter. He just wild. And, you know, certain fighters gonna be able to take a take advantage of that reckless aggression. Even though with Bo Mac, it's a little bit more under control. You know, but the fighters today can't stop value. They don't know how to counter punch, punch with you, whatever. And even Liam Smith was just in the outclass. Like I said, he looked old. In the first fight, he was going to get outclassed. He was. In the first fight, he was going to get outclassed. He just hit him with an illegal elbow. And Liam Smith, not a bad fighter. I believe he a world-class caliber fighter. He won the title. Been in there with Canelo. Been in there with some guys. You know, but Eubanks Jr. is just a naturally bigger and naturally more athletic man. And that's just that's just what it is. So um, 
that's just what it is, man. So, um, but uh, but it, I mean, it was it was a domination. He dropped him. He stopped him. It was just straight domination. He used a little bit more straight punches in his fight. Worked up and down. You know, people saying Liam Smith look old. I mean, shit, it is what it is. Motherfucker got gray hair. Excuse my language. What you expect? What you expect? Eubanks, are, you know, Eubanks is better in every category except for in technique. That's it. Hand speed, power, size, natural athleticism. I mean, he marks every box. Literally, he literally marks every box. So, you know, you could say you could say what you you could say what you want to say, but dude, he marks every box. So, um, but you know, nonetheless, uh, you know. Liam couldn't keep up with that conditioning, that aggressive, that volume. But um, if Bowman can get him to be to be patient and use his jab and um, get to try to get him to do the majority of things off his jab, I think he'd be a better man for it. Be more patient, slow down, pick his shots. You know, I think he overcommits too much, and he get in there with certain certain guys. They gonna make him pay for that. You know, they gonna make him pay for that shit. So that's one thing. That's one thing that people. That's one thing people gotta know. He gonna pay for that. He get in there with 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 a with a with a with a with a, with a bigger guy. You know, ain't no way around. It. He gonna pay for it. So, um, you know, he gonna pay for that. So. We have to, you know, wait and see and how it all go down for him. But, you know, good good vindication for him because he was illegally knocked out. Um, it's about to be hot as hell today. Uh, but, yeah, he was illegally knocked out. So, I, I mean, I just, you know, um, you know, but, but, I mean, Eubanks got to, you know, I think – Let's see how technically how old he is, man. Give me a minute. I think he's 33. He's about the same age. He's 33. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, if they can get him to do more things off the jab, you know, use his defense, get better, a little bit better defense and be patient, then, yeah, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat today. And shit, I know I'm gonna, what I'm going to do later on or tomorrow. I'm gonna go to this barbecue joint tomorrow and shit. Um, but my head, I be multitasking. I be doing shit on the computer, then talking to y'all. So I know y'all could be hearing the the keyboard in the back and shit. That's my bad. I might look to get a kind of silent keyboard if that exists. But but yeah, man, I, I watched the fight. I was at the casino watching the fight yesterday and shit. And uh, yeah, man, I was watching it while I was. I had end up getting five hundred dollars in, in free cash there and shit. I got to go back and use that shit <laughs> while I was there last night. So we're uh, in the afternoon. Then, you know, I had some other shit I did last night or whatever. But uh, this girl I was with last night, she was like, don't put me on your podcast. That shit was hilarious. I said, I ain't going to do that, baby. <laughs> uh, I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> uh, don't be talking shit because I was like out late. I mean, when you dealing with women, you know they're going to be late. So that shit don't phase me, bro. I'm, I'm always prepared for women to be late. Like Kevin Samuels say, if she late, cut her off, man. Come on. Any of us that dealt with women, we know, you know, y'all got moms, sisters. That's what my keyboard feels I mean, my mom feels funny. My bad. There we go. We already know. We know they're going to be late, bro. That's just, that's a given. That's a given, so. But yeah, I was watching it. I was watching that shit at the casino yesterday, bro. I, I it was straight for sure. It was straight for sure. So, uh, but um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't have anything against Liam Smith. I just felt like uh, what he hit Chris Eubanks with was an illegal blow. So I'm gonna stand on that. I'm gonna stand on that business. Um. You know, and that's what he did. It was an illegal blow. 
So, I mean, people can say what they want to say and, 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 and they can have their opinion or whatever, but um, that's just what I felt. I felt it was an illegal blow. So, um, you know, but I mean, uh, but other than that, I felt that Eubanks was the better fighter all along, all along from the beginning. I thought he won the first fight. And when I heard he got knocked out because I wasn't watching it and I watched it again because he got a pretty good chin. And I was like, and I seen he got hit with illegal blow. I said, I seen illegal blow. So a lot of times when you petition in boxing, you pretty much waste your time petitioning because they're not going to return nothing. But, you know, he had the rematch. He stood on business. Um, and shout out to him. But, hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. I appreciate y'all. Check out the fire reaction playlist for more videos like this. Check out the middleweight boxing playlist. Peace.